Captain Chunk. As you were. In this episode, we take a look at an HBO series starring the guy from Office Space and Marky Mark's brother as we follow the soldiers of Easy Company, 506, 101st Airborne Division, in the first episode of The Band of Brothers, Kurahi. You people are at the position of attention! Private Picante, have you been blousing your trousers over your boots like a paratrooper? No, sir. That explained the creases at the bottom. No excuse, sir. Volunteering for the parachute infantry is one thing, Percante, but you've got a long way to prove that you belong here. Your weekend pass is revoked. Name? Lord George. Dirt in the rear sight at, but your pass revoked. When did you sew on the chevron, Sergeant Lipton? Yesterday, sir. Long enough to notice this. Revoked, sir. Now, thanks to these men and their infractions, every man in the company who had a weekend pass has lost it. Change into your PT gear. We're running curry heat. Sir. Mass punishment does, does make the Brotherhood stronger. It also makes the weakest links uh, targets. So this tactic made Easy Company some of the fittest and most disciplined soldiers in the battalion. Uh, but it can go too far. It can lead uh, to a loss of confidence in leadership, which later on causes Captain Sobel to lose his command. So it's a fine line you have to walk. Uh, let me know what you think. Did Captain Sobel go too far? Uh, leave a comment. At, let, let me know. Stand in the door. Go! You just broke both your legs, Private Gordon. Are you trying to get yourself killed? No, sir! Stand in the door. The parachutes and planes may have improved, but that same training still happens today at Fort Benning, Georgia. Uh, practicing parachute landing falls, or PLFs as we call it, off a platform into sawdust pits. Uh, it's a case of if it ain't broke, uh, don't fix it. No! You want to kill him? Harry right, Harry left, front, ah! front cover. Okay. <clears throat> Yesterday we talked about magnetic declination and the left add right subtract rule. Today we're gonna to put it into practice. There are two basic types of fighting positions. The first is a prepared position. The advantages of a prepared position are that it gives you cover and concealment. Commence fire! Even when I went to basic in 1990, uh, the training was still just like that. Uh, it was hand-to-hand -hand combat, bayonet training, and digging a proper foxhole. Uh, today's modern soldiers, they don't get those uh, extensive training uh, on that. Uh, it just doesn't apply to today's battlefield. this is a more traditional army camp this is uh, very familiar to me I, I lived in camps especially overseas just like this uh, the tents here look like GP smalls that hold uh, about a full squad uh, they're small cramped and with that many people crammed in there uh, oftentimes smell like feet and ass causeway number one causeway number two the ultimate field problem the estuary of the Douve River divides two beachheads, codenamed Utah, here, and Omaha, here. Seaborne infantry will hit these beaches in force at a date and time to be specified. H-hour, D-day. 
Airborne's objective, gentlemen, is to take the town of Carentan, or Carentan, thus linking Utah and Omaha into a single continuous beachhead. Omaha and Utah into one continuous beachhead. Each trooper will learn this operation by heart and know his and every other outfit's mission to the detail. Lieutenant Meehan? Yes, Dukeman. Sir, are we dropping tonight? When it's time for you to know, we'll let you know. In the meantime, study these sand tables, maps, and reconnaissance photos until you can draw a map of the area by memory. The main operation order is, is very important. Every soldier needs to know everyone else's mission, uh, especially like rally points, targets, uh, their drop zones, because uh, back then they didn't have communications we have today. Uh, you couldn't easily send or receive orders from the field, so they had to know their shit or they were screwed. This is one of the most accurate World War II series I have ever seen. Uh, with producers like Tom Hanks, Steven Spielberg, I won't expect any less. Uh, pay attention to these interviews with the actual soldiers at, at the start and the end of each episode. Uh, their, their eyes, uh, they, it tells it all. Uh, if you haven't seen this series, it is definitely a must watch in my opinion. So, thank you for watching, and until next time, you're dismissed.